Welcome to class, let's get into it. Find a tabletop position. And then extend your right leg, keep your toes on the mat. And start by rocking forwards to stretch your wrists. And then rock back to stretch the back of that right leg. Keep it going like this. You can start slow and then begin to pick up the pace. Then we'll start to add on to this sequence. As you shift back, lift your left knee into your chest and then lower it down as you rock forwards. So keep it going like this, starting to incorporate some abdominal work. We've got about three more of these to go. Last one. And then come back to the tabletop. Let's switch sides. So left leg is extended, toes on the mat. Shift forwards and then back. So take your time to get into a flow with this sequence. And then when you're ready, add on that little lift of the knee, push the floor away, and then rock forwards. So keep your breath steady as you move through this. About three more to go. And that's three. Come back to tabletop. Moving into downward dog in stages now. So start by tucking your toes, lift your knees, and then sit your hips back on your heels. So you're in this crouching position. You're just gonna hold this here for about three more breaths. So really press through your hands. You can relax your hips sitting back on your heels. Okay, then relax your chin to your chest. Start to lift your hips, keep the knees bent. So you're lifting about halfway. Keep your heels raised. Hold this for about three breaths. Keep pressing through the hands. Good, now all the way, send your heels down, fully extend the legs. This time we're holding five breaths. So really pressing through the hands, through your feet to create a really stable foundation. Good, now looking in between your hands, step your right foot in between your hands, lower your back knee down. Then step it back to downward facing dog. Look forwards, step your left foot forwards, lower your back knee down. And then back to downward facing dog. So that's the sequence, keep it going. Stepping each foot forwards. Take a moment in your lunge and then step it back. And as you start to get into a flow with this, you can begin to pick up the pace as you start to feel a little bit more of coordination with each movement in and out. Good, let's add on to this. So now step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, left foot to outside of left hand and sink your hips down into Malasana. Take a moment here. Then straighten your legs, find a wide-legged forward fold. Take a moment here. Then sit your hips back down, back into your malasana. And then step it back to downward facing dog. So keep it going. Each time lead with a different foot. So this time it will be left steps forwards, then right. Sit down in malasana. Wide-legged forward fold back to Malasana, and then step it back, downward facing dog. So keep this going. You can start to pick up the pace as you get a little bit more familiar with the sequence. You should already start to feel this in your legs. I know mine definitely do.
So move through this one more time. Finish a complete sequence. Good, and then back to downward facing dog. This time step your right foot in between your hands, lower the foot, lower your back knee down. Then let your knee track past your ankle so your hips can really start to sink down. And you can rest your hands on your front thigh here, gently press your thigh away. And so that you're still working in the pose, you're not just hanging out here, start to press your back shin into the mat. So the legs are really pushing the floor away. At the same time, we send the hips down and forwards. So we're just holding this about three more breaths. So keep pressing into the floor. Last breath here. Good. Then pick up your hips, stack your knee over your ankle. Then lift your back foot and the left hand catches the foot. This can be a little challenging for the balance, so go slow. If you feel quite stable here, the right hand can also catch the foot. Start to draw the foot in towards the back of your glutes. And you'll just hold it here. Prioritize keeping your chest open so you're not rounding forwards. Keep your breath steady. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Then left hand keeps a hold of the foot. Right hand can rest on your knee. Start to lean forwards, send the hips down and forwards and keep that foot drawing in. So we're just deepening this pose here. And this one can get really challenging. So remember to breathe through it. Your breath will definitely help you work through any discomfort here. Last breath here. On your exhale, release that back foot with control. So don't let it ping back, let it lower with control. And then lower your hands and edge your front foot forward so that you can straighten the leg. And you may find that you need to keep a slight bend in the knee and if that's the case, please do that. Prioritize flexing the foot and that will start to activate the muscles in your leg. Then hold it here, so drawing those toes towards your face. You can let your head and neck relax, so gaze down. Nice deep inhales. And smooth exhales. And one more breath here. Good. Keep your front leg as it is, but tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. And you're just gonna hold this position here. So really press your front heel into the mat, press the ball of your back foot into the mat and hold for five, four, three, two, and one, good. Lower your back knee, edge your front foot closer to you and step it back to downward facing dog. Nice. Second side, step your left foot forwards, lower your back knee down. Then let that knee track past the ankle so the hips can really sink down. Just like last time, you can rest your hands on your front thigh, guide that thigh away from you. So you're just encouraging the hips to lower down. And remember to press your back shin into the mat. So the legs are really working here. We're not just passive in the pose. Two more breaths here. Good, then bring your front knee over your ankle so your hips draw back slightly. Then right hand catches the back foot, left hand can too if you feel steady. Then draw your foot in towards your glutes, hold it here. Keep your chest lifted so you can take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. A few more breaths here. Mm -hmm. 
Amazing, so right hand keeps a hold of the foot. Now left hand can rest on your knee. Let your hips sink down and forwards. Keep drawing that foot in close to the back of your glutes. Hold it steady. I know it's a wobbly one. The further down and forwards we go. So one more breath here. With your exhale, release the foot with control. So don't let it ping back. Bring your hands to the mat and edge your front foot forward so that you can straighten your leg. And flexing the foot will hold this here. So really peel your toes towards your face. So the muscles in your legs switch on. Relax your chin towards your chest so you're gazing down. Good. Now, front leg stays as it is. Tuck your back to lift your back knee. Hold it here. So you're really pressing the front heel down, pressing the ball of your back, heel, back foot down <laughs> to create more stability. Hold it steady. Really breathe. Good, lower the back knee down, edge your front foot forward towards you and step back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs a few times here just to reset. Good, and now we're really looking to strengthen the legs here. So moving through a few quick drills and downward facing dog, point your right foot and then sweep the leg up and lower it down. So we're going 10 of these, you've got nine more to go. Drive the leg high with power and lower down with control. So keep it going like this, just a few more times, about five more to go. Three, two, and one, good. Keep that leg in the air. Then sweep it out to the right side and sweep it all the way forwards. Plant your foot behind your right hand. Then fold over your front leg. So we're taking a pyramid fold here. Try to see if you can bring your belly towards your thigh. So keep your spine nice and long as you fold. Good, then bring your right hand, take a hold of your heel and find a bend in the front knee so it's a little easier to balance. Shift your weight into the front foot and then sweep your back leg up and lower it down with control. Again, we've got 10 of these to go, so nine more. Really challenging your balance as well as building strength in that lifted leg. That's five, you've got five more to go. On the last one, keep the leg in the air, hold your standing splits, five breaths here. I know that leg is probably shaking now, mine definitely is, so stay with me. We're in it together. Last breath here, and then lower that foot down, step it back to downward facing dog. Second side now, so pointing your left foot, sweep the leg up, and down 10 times. So really lifting with power, lower with control. That's five, five more to go. Three, two, one. Keep the leg in the air, sweep it out to the left side and then bring it all the way forwards. Plant your foot behind your left hand. Fold over your front leg. So just take a few moments to catch our breath. Slow things down as we press pause. Okay, bend your front knee, catch a hold of that ankle. Then shift your weight forwards as you sweep your back leg up. And down 10 times. 
So go slow as you may feel a little bit wobblier in this one. So that's five, five more to go. And with your last one, hold the leg in the air. Hold your standing splits for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that foot down, come back through your pyramid. Step it back to downward facing dog. Whew, my legs are definitely feeling this now. So take a moment to pedal them out, reset a few breaths. Good. And looking in between your hands, step your right foot forward, lower your back knee down. And this time our lunge is extended. So bring your front foot forwards past your knee. And then focus on really pressing into the mat so you're not gonna budge. Then take your hands away. And the focus here is to try to stay upright. Let the legs do the work. Keep pressing your front heel down, your back shin down so you're stable. And we're just gonna hold this here about five breaths. So keep pressing the floor away. It's also a great opportunity to steady your breath. Good, okay, hands come down to the mat, straighten your front leg and flex the foot, just like half splits before. Then tuck your back toes, lift your back knee and start to edge your back toes away from you. So you're coming down into this hovering split position. Now, if this is your edge, stay here. If you feel that you can go a little bit deeper, start to edge that back foot even further down the mat. So you're lowering yourself down and hold it here. We've got 10 breaths here. And this can be really challenging, so stay with me. Keep breathing. Keep pressing the feet into the mat so you're using your muscles to create stability. And that's also how you can tell your body, and most importantly, your nervous system, that you are okay in the pose, that there's nothing to worry about. Okay, three more breaths. We're almost there. Okay, press your hands into the mat to lift your hips, and then bring your legs towards one another and slowly step back to downward facing dog. You may need to go really slow after that last pose. Pedal out the legs a few times, one side, it's definitely gonna feel very different. So let's balance you out. Step your left foot forwards, lower your back knee down. Then start shuffling that front foot even further forward so you find this extended lunge. And then from here, when you feel steady, take your hands away. And it can be really helpful to spread your toes wide so that you've got a, a bigger foundation to press the floor away. Okay, hold it here, five more breaths. Okay, good. Bring your fingertips down, straight in this front leg. So you're starting in your half splits. Then tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, start to edge your toes away from you. So you're finding this hovering splits position. Just like before, if this is your edge, stay here. No pressure to go further. If you do have the space, then start to edge your back knee, your back foot down to come into the full splits. We're just going to hold this here, 10 breaths. So really dialing up your breath, keep pressing your legs, your feet into the mat. So you're using your strength to create stability. Three more breaths to go. Amazing, okay. Push your hands into the mat to lift yourself back up. 
Glide your legs in towards one another and step it back to downward facing dog. Let's just pedal out our legs here. Take a few moments to completely reset. Good. And looking in between your hands again, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower your back knee down. We'll find our lizard lunge. We're starting to slow down the practice a little bit more now. So you can expect to be here for a little longer time. So give yourself a chance to go deeper into the pose. There's no need to rush into it straight away. Work through progressively with your breath. So with each exhale, you may notice that more space becomes available. It may or it may not do. If it does, then you can start to lower yourself down towards the mat until you find a new edge. And then that edge may continue to move further away and more and more space becomes available. Okay, come back up onto your hands, slowly step back to downward facing dog. And then step your left foot to the outside of left hand, lower your back knee down into your lizard lunge. And again, give yourself plenty of time to move into this pose. So there's no need to go zero to a hundred straight away. Space becomes available, start moving into that space. Okay, then come back up onto your hands. This time I want you to step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and sink your hips down back into that malasana squat. We're gonna spend about 10 breaths here. So you can use your hands for stabilizers if you need it. If not, bring hands into prep and gently press your arms against your inner thighs. So you're encouraging your legs to move outward. So encouraging this external rotation through the hips. Good, bring your fingertips to the mat and straighten your legs, come into a wide forward fold. You can paddle out your legs, shift your hips side to side to ease yourself into position. And then if you'd like to go deeper, you can either hold the big toes or the backs of your ankles and draw yourself in a little bit closer to the ground. So crown of the head is pointing down. Wonderful. Bring your hands down to the mat. And you can come and sit down. Straighten your legs in front of you. 
and flex your feet. Then reaching both arms up, think of really lengthening your spine. Inhale here, reaching as tall as you can. As you exhale, hinge from your hips, start to reach your arms forward. So you're keeping this long line. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching until you go as far as you can. And then you can relax your arms down, bring your chin to your chest. And we find our forward fold. So instead of using your hands to pull yourself in closer to your feet, keep lengthening your spine, keep hinging from your hips. See if you can use your strength to compress your belly against your thighs. It's much more of an active fold when we practice it this way. Good. Inhale, seat yourself back up. Then bend your knees. And hug your arms around the backs of your legs. Then press your belly into your thighs. Try to keep that connection. That's your challenge now. Flex your feet and start to walk your feet away from you. And you're looking to keep your belly in connection as you eventually work towards straightening the legs all the way. So if at any point your belly is lifting, you've gone too far. So find where your edge is and stay there. And we'll take a few breaths here. So relax your chin into your chest. Keep pressing your belly into your thighs. Okay, then two come out, edge your feet in close to you so you can rebend the legs and then release. Place your hands behind you and we'll finish up just by letting the knees knock side to side. As you do this, you can find a little twist. Okay, and you are done. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for class. I hope it helped you work towards your splits or at least to get a little bit closer. It was a pleasure guiding you. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.